Hello and welcome, welcome gorgeous bags of light, this is Elmara. I have the bestest, 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 fifth dimensional power within you story to share with you. It's interesting to be here at this time when the ocean is just rocketing with all this gorgeous power as well. So appropriate time to be doing this video for you. So let's just start by calling forth pure God source, the seraphim and the cherubim angels. Jesus Christ, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, and the Apostles Thomas and Philip. We want to call forth all of our high spiritual healing teachers, guides, and angels. We want to connect to the sun, to the earth, and to our own divine I am presence, our beautiful own divine heart. Activating our high self and our divine I am presence. Activating the fifth dimensional chakra and the fifth dimension within us. Activating the pillar of gold and crystalline light that streams up from the core of Mother Earth. Up, gathering all the minerals and nutrients you need to sustain your physical being here on Earth. Up, encompassing all of your aura, up past the crown chakra past the sun, the central sun, the great, great central sun, past pure God source, and into the delightful, beautiful, new galactic diamond federation, onto the 13th level of unconditional love, and where my beautiful, beautiful Master Jack resides. Let's just take a big breath in, activating the Arcturians, the Lyrans, and the Syrians, and any of your own High spiritual healing teachers, guides and angels, call them forth now with love and gratitude for the absolute blessing to be here at this powerful, powerful time of awakening on Mother Earth. Take some big belly breaths through there. <sighs> Living about through the mouth. Letting go of everything that's outside this precious moment here on Earth. So all of those people that are outside of Australia that have been concerned about us, you should know that we've just had, or especially here around this area on the south coast of New South Wales, we've had over 200 mils of rain. Some places have had 300 mils. Some places then flooded after being caught in the fires. But the bottom line I wanted to make there is that all of the fires, the Currawong fire, and uh, I think it was Kuroiro Creek fire, they're all out. Um, and I think there's just a few left right down the bottom of the coast, but the rain was heading down there and I haven't had time to check and see if they're all out too. So gratitude and blessings to everybody who sent their love and prayers to Australia at this great time of rebirth and um, cleansing and awakening that's happening in Australia right now. And so the point that I wanted to share with you is that at this great time of awakening and rebirth in Australia, there's also a great awakening and rebirth of ourselves. And if you've been working with the fifth dimension for a long time, like I have since 1997, you should be able to tune in and become aware that the fifth dimension is awake and happening here on earth. And if you just push yourself, you may be able to find some pretty extraordinary things begin to happen within your being. So I ended my last video very quickly by telling you about how I wanted to watch a Martin Clunes, who I'm madly in love with. Um, he plays Doc Martens, but he does some awesome documentaries and he had a documentary on horsepower and I had seen it before and I wanted to see he'd gone to a healing center, an equine therapy center in America. And I really, really wanted to see that. Oops, just had a puppy dog that decided to join us and say hello, how gorgeous. Um, so yeah, at the end of that video, I wanted to watch this show and it hadn't had a signal for the whole week I'd been there. And so I just opened up my energy centers connected to the fifth dimension and channeled all this energy through my hands. As soon as I went, activate the fifth dimension and activate this channel so I could watch it, all this energy began to pour forth from my hands and 
awaken, the, um, the TV came on, the channel came back after not working for a week. When I stopped and went and got a cup of coffee, the channel went back to weak or no signal. When I came back with my, well, it wasn't a better cup of coffee at that time, and I had a cup or anyway, drink of water or something. When I came back, uh, the channel and did it again, activates fifth dimension and activate this channel. The channel came back again. So I was extremely excited about that. I was like, yay! Anytime I want to watch something, I live sort of in the country and don't always get TV. I know what to do now. But little did I know that I would need it in a really huge way about less than a week later. So less than a week later, I am um, down here. It was the day that I did that video, I think, and the last video, and there was all this rain, and I just told you about the TV channel, and it was pouring rain, and it was, it was an interesting day to do a video, but I really wanted to capture the rain so I could remind myself that it does rain a lot sometimes so and I'd sat here for about three or four hours because I really love it here meditating and, and praying and all the rest of it and when I came back to um, when I came back when I went to leave my my battery light had been on but it started to flicker and then some other lights kind of started to flicker on my car and I had first just intended to um, I first just had intended to just pop down and grab something at the little local shop and then I went, no, I'll go down into town because I really feel like pesto for tea tonight and I was off to get some pesto and pasta so I could make some stuff to make a pesto and pasta for dinner. Well, as I was driving kind of like to the four kilometre shop instead of the one kilometre shop, all my, all my lights began to flash on and then as I got closer down towards, um, as I got closer towards I was almost to my shops and all of my signals dropped out all of my my speedometer my rev counter my petrol gauge everything just came back and they were just flickering I went oh my god I'm in a bit of trouble here so I did a Yui and started to head back home and I got right up on top of a hill right on top of this hill and my car just died just died completely on top of this hill and um it was a Saturday night and it was the golf club was just down the corner and I just knew I had to get my car off the road. But I'd ran my phone out gossing to my mum that afternoon. So there was no battery left on my phone. Um, I lifted my bonnet up. Nobody stopped to even ask me if I was okay. There's a reason for that, which you're about to hear about in a moment. So I just went, oh my God, what am I gonna do? And I then, just remembered about the TV. I went, I'll oh, bugger it. I'm going to start my own car. Who needs a man when you can do it yourself? So I just, or a mechanic, female mechanic, male, male mechanic, anyway, who needs anyone else? This is what the fifth dimension is all about. So I did my thing. I got centered. I activated the fifth dimension and asked to send energy to my car. I went, come on, God, come on, angels, anyone who's listening, my dad, who was a Mr. Fix-It, get some bloody angel mechanics out here and get this car started for me. I don't want to be stuck in the pouring rain and I don't want to leave my car on top of this hill loaded up with all my stuff and have someone nick it all. So um, I do this for about five minutes and fuck me dead, the car starts. Fuck me dead, that's a real Aussie expression, everybody, sorry. Um, and it's 2 20, 22, 22 on my, my timer in my car, just so you know. Um, the problem was a battery problem and I haven't, been, I haven't worked out how to change it and get the numbers right again. But anyway, so um, I said it and I go, oh, wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jump out, put my donut down, start driving. I get about halfway, two kilometres home and all of my gauges all start to like dance and flutter and drop and stop. And you know, they stop, but my car still kept going, please get me home to Steve's place. Please get me home to Steve's place. Please get me home to Steve's place. And of course I pulled up outside of Steve's place and turned the car off, went to turn it back on and it wouldn't go. I was like, oh bugger. And then I thought, oh, maybe it's because you're gonna laugh at this. Earlier in the week, I'd had knocked a cup of coffee over on the dash. So I went and got <laughs> some water and poured over it because I didn't want it to stink. And I said, oh, maybe that water's got down into the mechanics of it, you know. So I sat there and I set energy to my car and it started up again. Um, you know, and but then minutes later it wouldn't start again. So I just left it. I thought, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to pray. I'm going to ask some angels to fix it overnight. 
So when I got up at six o'clock in the morning, I meditated and I sent energy to my car for about an hour and a half. And then went out, boom, it just started, no digging, no flashing lights, no nothing. I went, yay! What I didn't know until three days later was that my glove box wasn't quite closed. I saw it at night time and the light was on there and it was, it was flattening the battery. That's what was happening. I was charging it up with my hands, but it was flattening it. And the alternator had gone on my car. And if you know you hear about cars, the alternator is what char keeps the battery charged. Without an alternator, it just goes flat. And so, and I knew I'd only just put a new battery in it about a year ago. So um, I ended up having to get some lovely man out to replace the, the alternator and cost me 800 bucks, etc., etc. But this is what I learned. We have such power within us, such power. And eventually, I'm sure that eventually, so that's a classic um, example of the power of the fifth dimension. So I got my car to drive probably about four kilometers and I got it to start and I was able to charge up the batteries. Now, to be fair, like in the last 10 years, I've charged, well, we don't really need them anymore because they're on your phone, but I've charged up batteries for cameras years ago when you know you didn't have phone cameras and I we wanted to take photos and the battery went flat on the camera I've charged them up for other things so I had but I'd never kind of done I never started and uh, you know in other times when my car won't start I just pray bring a cylinder of light down and the car started but I hadn't ever just die and have all the instruments die on me and still be able to start it so I wanted to share that with you to let you know that the fifth dimension is here the fifth dimension is wide awake and happening and you all the old processes that we used are no longer relevant now i'm sure if i had focused my attention it wasn't to the lovely man at the auto electron said it sounds like it's your alternator and that definitely sounds like what the problem is um if i'd known i may before all that i may have been able to focus on regenerating the alternator and i will certainly do that next time but um but the, just the mere fact that I started my car numerous times when it had no battery left in it from a dead battery because the alternator shows you what's possible for you. This is what's possible for you. You can do this. We can all do this. Isn't this fantastic? So just remember it's all changing. I want to remind you that I have been working in the fifth dimension since 1997. So I didn't just jump on some bandwagon and go, you know, oh, this is what you do when it's, you know, this whole pile of people have completely got the wrong. They think it's about escaping and living somewhere else without being. You were here in a physical body on physical earth plane to wake up the fifth dimension within you and to do all these things here on earth when your car breaks down and all those gorgeous things. So I run fifth dimension weekend workshops. I can teach you to be a fifth dimensional healer. I can do fifth dimensional healing on you. And often it clears things that people have had the matter with them that they can't. So contact me through my website, www.elmaraseraphin.com or you can email me at elmara at live.com.au and tell me what your budget is. And But I recommend you check out the 55 pages of testimonials on my website and then you'll know that I'm Richie Ditch. Alrighty, love, love, love. My deepest love and richest blessings to you all. I really look forward to being with you again soon.